Hi guys and welcome to Gadget Reviews and to this stream and live discussion of well basically what happened to Soda's GW and all of that. So that uh, I mean those news came out yesterday and I just you know the first time that I can cover them is now guys. So we all know and I also covered that when Sodas was acquired basically by GW how um, I mean that he was approached and they snatched him <laughs> obviously that was big news then and they also did that to a lot of other animators and yeah and we talked about you know how GW are doing things they basically approach someone and they tell them to remove all of their 40k animation content because you know copyright and then they are supposed to be working with GW on new projects and that was the plan so I said I said back then which back then was like a few weeks ago or a month or two or something like that so I said that okay you know for GW uh, I mean they can acquire those animators they can give them jobs which is awesome but like don't let them uh, I mean don't make them take their original content because this is their work in terms of ideas everything else yes it's a property of GW that they are expressing and they're creating but uh, even if they change those videos in the future they're gonna be like for real uh, belonging to GW and they're gonna be different they're not gonna be the original so why not just you know leave the originals be the originals for I mean for what they are because they're not going to actually uh, give him a copyright claim otherwise if he doesn't work for for them at least that's how I understand it so I just didn't agree and still don't agree with th that politic that all the creators have to take down their their existing videos and those videos are also what brought so many people to 40k and Warhammer in general and I mean even me <laughs> actually with the studies and you know if that wasn't the, the case I would never know about 40k in the first place probably well eventually maybe I would find out because Henry Cavill is a fan and I'm a fan of, <laughs> of Henry Cavill and he's a fan of a lot of things that I'm a fan of basically so maybe I would have found out this way <laughs> you know if it's destiny for me to find out but the point is literally millions of people found out what Astartes are and then they researched about 40k and all those things and that is all because of Siyama Pedersen and that all, and then all the other animators that did all, all of um, their creations and now we're here you know it, it's a community all of that so so that's one, one of those guys that were snatched lastly and we didn't hear anything about what was happening for a while and now he posted in the community uh, he says um, I'm talking about the rumors that have been going around the internet about me lately. Oh yeah, first of all, be before I uh, reach, uh, sorry, read all of that, I just want to say and remember, I mean, uh, you know, remind you, basically, if you don't know, that he got a ton of harassment when he announced that he's gonna be working with GW when he took down all of his 40k videos and he got a ton of harassment back then so he is going to mention this again and we're going to discuss all of that of course hi to everybody in, in the chat guys i'm gonna address you as well it's very late so uh we got to keep this as tight as possible as a video not as a stream so he continues after i wrote to the korean community yeah there's uh somewhere there's a um damn it uh what was that a forum yes a forum which i don't know where that is but i think that that is what he means i got a reply from gw a few days ago so that's very recent they want to keep working with me they said that they reply that their reply was uh, delayed due to circumstances so yeah i think that in that forum uh from what i was able to to see uh he uh, basically said that uh, they just acquired him and then they didn't write him back at all so he was like in the dark for some time okay he continues but i'm not going to work with them not because if 
uh, not because of the very slow feedback but for other reasons during that time i was attacked by so many people and it was so painful okay so first let's address this sentence that uh, not because of the slow feedback but he's not gonna work with them for some other reasons what these reasons could be i think that he is overall maybe tired from what happened to him and gw not being serious enough kind of ruining his uh well youtube channel basically by stopping his most uh, popular creations with 40k and then just not giving him anything uh or maybe there are some but particular um, you know uh, like uh, something for uh, about the contract uh, for the payment something like that I mean we can only speculate here but I think that he is fed up overall because of what the the bad uh, the bad apples from the community did to him so even on other projects they continue to harass yeah I also know that from before that when he did other videos like doom and others they continue to uh, you know write him the worst things possible and be entitled to his content which is outrageous and ridiculous i was gradually losing interest in the animation itself and i was almost at the limit i don't want to worry about anything else anymore in a situation where this current work could be the last finally please please don't comment on warhammer this is very painful it is very painful to read guys it is so I wrote as well here in this uh, community post so that you are talented and everyone that has some taste and dignity can see that you should never stop creating because of some jerks that think they are entitled to your work just block ignore and move to uh, and move on to great things more creations your love towards 40k is yours only and you should not let anyone else ruin that be you and do what you feel a lot more people are with you than not so that's what that is what i you know wrote there and that is indeed the case so if he uh cannot take the heat well it is extremely unfortunate that there is sorry my mic there that there is a heat in the first place for someone that is talented as him she has to go through this just because he decided to take a chance and work with GW and then all the people harass him because he sold himself I think that those are comments that I also read somewhere as well like you sold yourself to the devil or something this is ridiculous he deserves to see his talent realized to get real money for what he does and that could be amazing because also GW need workforce I mean they need talented people to work on their videos uh, and on their I mean movies projects that uh, take a ton of work anyways <sighs> thank you uh, dear Clayton so uh, let me read your comments and then we're gonna continue uh, so yeah I mean what do you think about this guy's I mean as fans uh, he is the last guy that I'm covering that came out of this and um, I don't think that as well I mean, despite the people, I don't think that GW are doing their best here. Not even a little bit. I don't think that they actually have a grasp of, on what they want to do in terms of projects. And they do not, uh, do not know how to use their own uh, talent. For sure, they already have a working projects with C uh, Sayama Pedersen and a few others that they also covered. One of the best. They are already working on their separate respective projects, but with Sodas and maybe some of the other guys uh, that were acquired, maybe they do not have, uh, you know, enough work uh, already, which is going to be very, very just unfortunate. They just snatch them and they're like, oh, just sit there and marinate and we're going to figure it out. <laughs> but just sit there, please. Like, what the heck, you know? Okay, let's see what you're saying. <sighs> okay, Vasek. So, hi to Dark 2, hi to Set 2. What is Sodas? Well, as I said, he is one of the best animators that we had. This is his video right here. 
and uh, I covered all of his 40k videos basically till now. It was so amazing to look forward to his creations. People on Patreon voted on what he should do next. His last uh, animation was really amazing with the Dead Courts of Creek and uh, I think two different legions of Astartes participating. Yeah, I would also love to see that. Yes, I am sad. I'm actually, it's actually so hot here, I can barely <laughs> think, but I'm trying, so yeah. Oh, Grail Knight, I'm so happy to see you here, uh, live. Uh, GW has been well sneaky and uh, vicious in the past regarding their IPs. They have the right to be, but still it's not good PR for them. Gambling up creators that advertise for... Uh, for the out of passion yes that is exactly what uh, i also said that with the creations that all of those animations um you know well presented the quality of them all those creators they're making basically uh, a ton of well a ton of effort because to create animation i mean i only just started learning how to do these things and it's crazy amount of work amount of studying uh you know the software and it's just crazy let alone to start you know modeling then to start uh, doing the animation itself uh the colors and it's nuts i mean the whole the whole um um Damn it, I don't know what's happening to me, but I guess I'm too tired because it's yeah, very late. But yeah, the whole process, it's a lot more complicated there than anything else that I've ever uh, tried to work on. And I've worked on so many different types of software for uh, different types of video creation and pictures and all of that. And that is like uh, five, ten levels above that. So, uh, so basically all of those animators, creators, they do this free advertisement for Warhammer in general as a property, as what whatever you, you wish. It's absolutely tremendous, tremendous amount of work, months, years, and they do it for free, basically just because they love it and they recreate it so well and they understand it so well. Just looking at this video now, I'm, yeah, I'm just uh, immersed in what the heck is happening, although I've seen this so many times. And GW is like, oh, we're going to give you a job. That's amazing. But then, oh, delete all your videos that you made us popular popular with. Really? GW, you really? You know? And now there's something behind the scenes that obviously is happening. And so does the world. Doesn't want to work with GW anymore. But I think that that is, um, I mean, a lot to do with uh, the fact that he was harassed by some local i mean vocal uh low, low very low-minded let's say minority of fans that for some reason think that they are entitled to what the heck he is doing but uh let them try to i mean uh, please try <laughs> to animate anything to do 3d 3d animation and see how much nerves and patience you're going to have to even start learning your your way around the software let alone animate anything so this requires so much willpower so much talent so much vision it's insane it's absolutely insane so this deserves only the most uh, you know utmost respect so that is a huge bummer because now Sodas sounds like he doesn't want to do any animation at all, not only 40k. He doesn't want to hear about 40k because it's beating, uh, beat it out of him, so to speak. But my message to Sodas, although he's never going to see this video, but my message to him is, you know, to not pay any attention. I mean, I already wrote him that comment, but I'm not sure if he's going to read all of these comments. But yeah, my point is never ever let anyone crush your dreams, uh, what you can do with your talents, whatever you're capable of. There's a lot more people that love him and respect his work and a lot more people that support his work than those people that just think that they own him or something. 
those people do, do not deserve any attention just not a minute of his day anything of the sort because it's his thing he does that from his passion to uh, whatever he likes you know 40k doom and so on he doesn't do it uh, so you know uh, people can just I mean get entitled with a stick of their butt <laughs> up their butt and go and trash him you know he's doing it because he loves the stuff now we have the right to like it or not like it but we definitely don't have the right to harass him and say like oh you did this you did oh well it's his life he can do whatever he wants but it's just bad that gw let him down so not only some people harass him but gw let him down it's absolutely horrible what happened to Soz and I hope that this is not going to happen to the other animators but something has to be done so you know I don't know what but I hope that Soz will not quit just because there are some idiots that uh, that just are just mosquitoes mosquitoes he should just do this and not listen to them at all uh, okay, and thank you Grand Knight once again that you're here, yes? Okay, reading your comments real quick, guys. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully dark, but as he says, it like, I mean, at this current moment, he's like, please don't talk about 40k. I understand him, but it's just very sad that this has to happen. Uh, oh, okay, let me catch up. Hi to Engerrecht. Sorry if I butchered your name. <laughs> yeah, brass knuckles in the free floating ribs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, a lot of love. I mean, you don't do you don't do so much effort if you don't love it. Okay, <laughs> you just don't do so much effort. Yeah, you're right, Vasek, and you're an artist too, so you know. Yeah, even if it's something is super super good, I mean, doesn't matter how good it is. There's always going to be someone that's gonna come here and be like, eh, no, <laughs> you know. But in the same time. This, these people, and at least most of them, have never created anything in their lives. They're not artists, you know? So there's that. <sighs> hey, Mojo Jojo. I just love your name, Powerpuff Girls, and Mojo Jojo <laughs> from, <laughs> from Powerpuff Girls. Oh, quick <laughs> update where we're talking about Soda's one of the best 40k animators that we ever have, and I hope we still have. But unfortunately, he doesn't want to create any more 40k because people harass him about it and he had to work with GW that acquired him to be their official animator, one of the, the official animators. But now they also let him down in a way and he doesn't want to work with them either. So that leaves him with not having and not doing, I mean, any 40k animation or animation in general. I mean, I don't know what, what he's gonna do, but he has to restore himself. And his passion for this because uh, I mean internet harassment is terrible guys and I, I, I have it everyone has it basically and people are so insensitive and they make so many assumptions about well about you that it, that it just I, I can't fathom it I honestly sometimes I'm like okay how miserable you have to be to to just decide that certain person on the internet, no matter who, is so and so, and just go and tell them because you feel the need to go and and tell them that and harass them. Like, can't you just not do this? I mean, if you don't like someone, uh, I'm not gonna go to them and be like, "Oh my gosh, I don't like you because this and that and this." Ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and in in terms of what Solus is doing, it's even more ridiculous because he only did what he loved 
and then he only wanted to realize his talent but just things didn't work out who knows what GW did behind the scenes like whatever put him off or it's just the fact that he was so harassed that he just doesn't want to deal with any animation at all no matter if it's officially or not but they cannot say if I can't talk to Zelda so there's that hmm well <laughs> If you can find all the jerks, Grey Knight, if you can in identify all the jerks, feel free. <laughs> oh yes, I know said that they're making a live-action pop of girls. It looks awful. <laughs> that is just my current opinion because of what I saw. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. More malicious than sensitive. Uh, Ozymandias, hello to you too. How is the weather in California? It must be very, very hot. Like here, you know. In Bulgaria. Oh yes, you're kind of right. I'm gonna read what you said. Um there and go uh, wrecked so i don't think it's uh it is born out of misery it seems to be to uh, it seems to be to me uh born out of sense of entitlement as if they own you once you've put something out there exactly yeah exactly what i meant actually yeah it is very very unfortunate Okay, if you find a if you found a grail, yes. Oh, and yeah, Zach, I mean you you draw, uh, you draw forty k. So, uh, I bet that a lot of critics there. By the way, how is my, um, how is my um, sisters of battle? going <laughs> I'm very you know very curious about that still so uh, I'm not gonna stop being curious until I see it <laughs> just asking um, it is similar to do the thing the thing syndrome where idiots come up with famous people ah, come up to famous people and try to make them do their character lines oh yeah that's kind of I mean, you want to do that, but at the same time, this is a human being that you're talking to. So imagine if I meet Lucy Lawless, uh, that is Xena Warrior Princess actress, and you know, she's my favorite actress, so I, I'm going to finally meet her and I'm going to be like, Lucy, please do the Xena cry. She's like, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I mean, she'd done that so many times. She was asked in every possible TV show that she was ever a guest in. So I imagine that uh, gets old because, you know, she had other roles. But of course, this is like the role that made her most famous and all of that gave her her career. So she is kind of like, I mean, she kind of has to do that <laughs> in a way. But that doesn't mean that it's not annoying to this point, you know. Uh, par puff is a bit funny in Germany because puff is slan slan word ah for a what is that? I'm actually not sure what is that. Uh, eighty three degrees in California. I'm not sure how is that in Celsius, but here is thirty something degrees. I think thirty something is ninety something. So I'm melting. Wow, amazing, Ozymandias, you. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, take a picture and uh, put it on Facebook. I guess it's very beautiful there. Slowly in process. I'm so curious to see, like, a sketch or something. Or you don't want to spoil it for me? Um, <laughs> I still want to see a sketch, though. Morgan Freeman. But, yeah, why not? I would love to pretty much meet every movie star that I can, in general. 
Ah, okay. Uh, thank you, Libert, uh, Libertinary there. Uh, thanks for letting me know about that, okay. Okay, thanks, don't care too, for your <laughs> clarification as well. Oh my, okay. So, I only met, uh, damn it, why, why this, his name escapes me now. Uh, okay, let me check real quick. That's not the topic, but I'm just gonna tell you that much and then we really have to go. But this is basically the unfortunate news okay so uh okay yeah so on the last comic con before ever uh I mean the corona came the last comic con that was here in bulgaria uh, sam jones came here which was a huge surprise for me sam jones being flash gordon so i had the pliver pl pl play <laughs> Oh my gosh, the play, the play, I have the play, <laughs> okay, I'm not doing, okay, <laughs> I have to sleep on time because these days I'm just so tired guys, I can't tell ya, okay, so, <laughs> pliverage, pliverage, <laughs> I'm just not gonna say it, okay, I had the amazing opportunity to speak with him and do an interview. And that was great. And I, I haven't even seen Flash Gordon before two days. I mean, two days before that. And I, I seen it. I had to see it. So I know, you know, who I'm talking to. And he was pretty great guy. So even if I wasn't, like, initially a fan, it was awesome to meet such a person and, you know, shake his hand and be, like, this close to him. It was great. It was really great. And this interview is here on the channel, by the way. You can search, like, in the channel itself, Comic Con and Flash Gordon or just Comic Con, and you should see the interview. Great stuff. Great stuff. And he is pretty buff guy for his age. He's big. Uh, and I, I was impressed that he is still training, and he was very serious about that, which is my topic. So, this was awesome. Yeah, I am from Bulgaria. There's some Game of Thrones... Uh, Game of Thrones actors too but I never got to them but you know uh, Sam Jones was like on the sides and everybody that wanted to talk to him could get to him but you know a lot of the kids just didn't know who he was and he was just preparing and not a lot not a lot of people were you know around him so I took the opportunity and went and spoke to him of course that was also with my friends from Superheroes Bulgaria so we were all three that did the interview but ah uh, it's awesome yeah privilege i know the word but when i'm tired i just cannot i, I just can't talk in any language not only english but in general uh two days in a row to not sleep well just makes me horribly malfunction literally <laughs> um okay you live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's exactly what you should do. Treat them like anyone else. Just be normal. Oh, you gave the link. Thanks, dear Ivy. Who is Flash Gordon? Well, you have to see the movie, but uh, he is like a hero from a long time ago. Uh, but he doesn't have any powers, so when I saw the movie, I was like a bit disappointed that he actually doesn't have any powers. Mm. So, in today's standards, the movie, the movie is pretty ridiculous, but for the time, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, so... <laughs> Gordon's alive, who? Who, uh, Gordon, I mean... <laughs> thankfully, Sam Jones is alive, guys. So, guys, that is what is happening um i do have two videos for tomorrow if i can do them because as always uh, saturday and sunday i'm always busy with you know what i'm doing that only fans have to produce that content make it release it all those things but i really have to do those two two videos that i really want to do for tomorrow one is for gay 
uh, maybe even two, maybe if I can stream, but we'll see guys, see how much time I can muster uh, tomorrow. In any case, we're going to see each other very soon. And um, uh, have you watched the old black and white Flash Gordon? Even older than Sam Jones' Flash Gordon? No, I just watched his. I didn't know that there was another one even older than that. I have no idea. Yeah, there are a lot of Flash Gordon comics. There are also there on the event. There were like a ton of them. Okay, guys. So, as always, this is... I mean, uh, for me, this was awesome time with you guys. But uh, it's very unfortunate occasion. I want to reach Soles if he wants to talk. But I doubt that he wants to do that. I'm still gonna try, though. <sighs> but I hope that GW is gonna get their priorities together as well not only the people that are jerks and all of that are the problem they're also the problem so i hope that that they're going to get their act together and start uh, start supporting the fans because what the fans did all those animators and in general what uh, i mean any spread of the word that there's something like a 40k thing going around is going to propel them uh, in the future create more possibilities for 40k as a brand warhammer in general and more opportunities for future whatever it is you know the more popular the show not the show sorry the property gets the more uh, chances for animations even movies and don't forget we also have eisenhorn to look forward to the first live action uh, 40k any day so uh, gw has to be more supportive uh, they should protect their property, but in this case, it's like a community that uh, totally uh, contributes to their bottom line, too. So I think that supporting is going to make, I mean, supporting those creators and in general, the fans as a community uh, is just going to be amazing because people also going to love them. I mean, we and the animators, if uh, we only talk about them, they're going to be motivated motivated to actually do what they love so everything is important everything matters but definitely for solos he does not need to ever listen to anyone that is entitled to his content because that is just ridiculous and his passion is so great that he had the willpower uh, to learn and create this and many others and that should not die because it's just too precious too precious guys so that is it, let me know what you think in the comments, share if you'd like to help me, you can also become a member of the channel if you wish, and as always, if uh, you like a ton more content in general, you can just uh, join my OnlyFans where I do my meaningful sex educational content, fitness, health, nutrition, all of those things, guys, so thank you very much once again for watching, and till next time with me, Gage Reviews, I hope that you have a great weekend, bye-bye. Thank you.